Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can see, we are in the kitchen. The reason for that is because I'm going to show you how to make three simple yet very tasty chicken dishes. The reason I chose chicken is because it's probably one of, if not the most consumed protein sources out there. However, when it comes to cooking it, people tend to lose a lot of variation, don't know really what to do with it apart from use the same old Cajun spice and it ends up just being Cajun chicken with broccoli and rice. And if people aren't enjoying what they're eating, then they might be able to track calories and macros, but if they're eating the same old thing every day, then they might not want to track the calories and macros, which means they're not going to achieve the health and fitness goals and healthy eating goals that they want. So I thought today's video, we would do three chicken dishes because three is the magic number. And in every dish, I'm going to include a different carb source and all the calories and all the macros for every dish will be on the screen. So sit back, relax, kick your feet up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Let's get cooking. First up on the menu is creamy parmesan pesto chicken with pasta and broccoli. This dish can serve from one to two people, so if these calories that I'm about to tell you are a lot, then split them into two. The macros for this are 121 grams of fat, 127 grams of protein, 155 grams of carbs, and a whopping 2,213 calories. So I'm hoping you do have the basics such as olive oil and salt and pepper, but you will need 77 grams of pesto. That's about half of this container. You will need one whole tub of single cream. You will need 220 grams of chicken breast. You will need 100 grams of Parmesan cheese. Also save a bit extra for garnishing at the end. You will need four cloves of garlic, finely chopped, and you will need half an onion finely chopped, broccoli if you can get hold of stalks or florets that might be easier, also 200 grams of pasta. So first thing that I would advise to do is finely chop the onion and once you've done this finely chop the garlic because this way you're preparing those small details first ready because once they're chopped all you've got to do is literally throw them into the pan and instead you don't want something to be maybe overcooking and you have to rush and then think I've still got to chop my garlic, my onion and my chicken for example. Okay so next you want to put your water on to boil and once it's boiling add the pasta. So then whilst the pasta is cooking you now want to add about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil to a pan. I would use a fairly large pan because in the end you're going to mix all these ingredients in so a large pot or a wok something like that should do then after that oil's heated up a little bit you want to get the onion first and for now you only want to add the onion and let it cook for about three to four minutes until it's soft and golden brown now I personally find with this dish it is a lot nicer when the pasta is al dente so it basically means not cooked all the way through you know there's a slight I wouldn't say crunch but it you know it's not fully soft so um, just keep checking the pasta all the way through the cooking process so whilst other things are cooking in the meantime get the chicken that you should have already weighed out get that sliced and prepared ready to go into the pan so once that onion has become slightly golden brown and soft, then add the garlic and the garlic cooks quite fast so you only want to leave it in there for maybe about 30 seconds and if you can see it's starting to dry up a little bit then add a bit more olive oil if, if you think it's starting to maybe go a bit um, black or it's starting to burn slightly then you can add a little bit of olive oil and then literally straight after adding the garlic for a few seconds you then want to add the chicken and remember like I said earlier this should already be sliced so then once you add the chicken to the garlic and the onion you now want to season it well with 
salt and pepper and the reason you want to generously season it is because there's a lot of chicken there and the salt and pepper needs to get into all of that chicken to bring out more flavor as well as in the garlic and onion remember you want to keep checking on your pasta and before it is fully cooked you want to add the broccoli ah, you almost forgot about that didn't you so you know you can use any type of broccoli but I find it easier with the thin broccoli florets because you know they're basically easier to shove into the mix they don't have to go all the way into the water because you could even put a lid on and let them steam as well so about a minute or so before the pasta is al dente then put the broccoli in and let that cook through as well so then once the pasta and the broccoli is cooked to how you like then drain it in a colander leave it on the side and by this time the chicken should be infusing in all the flavors and should be getting nice and golden brown and once all of the pink of the chicken has gone white or golden brown add the single cream and followed by this you then want to add the pesto with the pesto because it is mainly a pesto dish you know you want to be quite generous with this so if it's like 77 grams make sure it is 77 grams or over the same with the parmesan these things if you go a little bit over that's fine because you want most of the flavor to come from these things again with salt and pepper as well season well add these main two ingredients generously because this is going to add the most flavor okay then of course stir in all of the ingredients get it all into the chicken because again all of these flavors have to go right through the chicken breast after seasoning turn the heat a bit lower and let it simmer for about five minutes so it should look something like this after it's been simmering for a few minutes bubbles coming through and you want to turn the heat low so the chicken doesn't overcook you just want it to cook in those juices before then adding the broccoli and pasta so the final stage of the cooking process is when the chicken is almost cooked add the pasta and broccoli to the mix and mix all the sauce the chicken the pasta mix everything in i actually had to transfer this to a wok because the pan wasn't big enough so make sure you do have a big enough pan because you don't want it spilling over the edges etc and mix it all in and simmer for about another minute or two then just plate it up and to finish off sprinkle more parmesan over the top season and there you have creamy parmesan pesto chicken with pasta and broccoli so next up on the exquisite menu is moroccan chicken with sweet potato mash and the calories for this are 614 19 grams of fat protein is 62 grams and 55 grams of carbs To make this dish you will need to finely chop one fat ass garlic clove, you will need to finely chop one whole onion, you will need a tablespoon of honey, half a lemon, squeeze all the juice from that, you will need one tablespoon of olive oil, 220 grams of chicken breast, you will need to mix cumin with cinnamon but I didn't have cumin but I had something called garam masala which has got a combination of cumin turmeric so I mixed that with the cinnamon and you will finally need 150 grams of sweet potato so on to cooking the first thing you want to do is get your water boiling season with salt and add the sweet potato Whilst these are boiling, mix one teaspoon of cumin or something like cumin with the cinnamon and season with salt and pepper. Then sprinkle the mix all over the breast and make sure it's rubbed in nicely. So if you're a dirty bastard, you can use your hands or you can rub it in using a spoon or fork. Then simply add a tablespoon of olive oil 
to the pan, heat it up and add the chicken breast. And you just want to make sure that all the sides of the chicken breast are getting nice and golden brown. So just leave each side on for a few minutes, keep turning it over, see that it's getting golden brown. So you don't want to fully cook it yet, you just basically want to sear the chicken breast making sure it's cooking on all sides. And remember to keep on checking on your sweet tatties. Using a fork, see if they're getting nicely cooked. Then, once the chicken is golden brown on all sides, take it out and add the onion and garlic to the juices. Now, I am such a nice guy that I thought I would give you an in-depth look of my kitchen. And this that you can see here is one of the most difficult culinary skills. It is called stirring. Hopefully you realize that that's sarcasm. And um, if it's your first time cooking onion, then uh, lean back a bit because it's like someone is stabbing you in the eyes. They're going to water like crazy. I do enjoy my coffee as well, as you can see. But you now basically want to keep checking the onion and cook the onion and garlic until soft. So next, once that onion and the garlic has got a bit more soft and golden brown, you can then squeeze all of that lemon juice in, really give it a good squeeze, the half of the lemon. And then after this, you want to follow up by adding the honey and then add the chicken breast that has been partly cooked back into the mix. And finally, add about half a small cup of water and bring it to a heat where it's gonna let the mix simmer nicely. So this is the kind of simmer that you want to have and remember the chicken's only partly cooked so now is when the real cooking is happening and the sauce is getting a bit thicker. As you can see I like to show all the places I've been. Go I've eaten a lot in the Caribbean, in Turkey, in Mexico. Yeah. So by this point your sweet potato should be almost done if not done and as you can see that breast should now be coming nice and juicy and succulent and the sauce should be getting nice and thick and syrupy which is what we want. So just check that the sweet potatoes are done, drain them well, then it's just a waiting game so you're just letting that chicken get fully cooked in all that sauce and to keep checking on it I like to stick the knife and fork in the top of the breast and use the knife to open it up and see how much longer it needs or see if it's been cooked long enough already. Then when the chicken is almost finished it's time to mash the sweet potato. You can do it with olive oil or if you're feeling a bit naughty you can do it with butter, up to you. But just mash it to the consistency that you like and that is that. Then it's time to plate up the dish so it's all going to go in your mouth at the end of the day but what I like to do is put the sweet potato and mash down first, add the chicken breast on top either whole or sliced and then pour over the sauce. The third and final dish on this exquisite menu is sticky honey lemon chicken with white rice and the macros for this are 76 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat and 178 grams of carbs and the total calories for this are 1136. So this time what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bang out all the ingredients you need and go through the amounts as we go on. So for now you need soy sauce, you need one lemon, you can use apple cider vinegar, this is optional, you need honey, you need either fresh or dried thyme like this, 220 grams of chicken breast and 175 grams of white or basmati rice. So first things first, you want to put the rice on the boil. 
So what I like to do is basically measure out the 175 grams and then put that amount into cups. It might make up you know, one cup or maybe a little bit more. Then pour it in the pan and then I will add about just over two to three cups of water on top of that and turn the heat up. Then once the rice is boiling, add about a tablespoon or so of olive oil to a hot pan and add the sliced chicken and season well with salt and pepper and it wants to be on a very high heat to start with this dish. Then keep on stirring the chicken and as the pink starts to become white and brown, you want to basically cover generously the pan with soy sauce and what that's going to do now is basically turn that chicken into like a dark golden brown which is going to be really nice and after a few minutes it should end up looking something like this so cover with generous splashes of soy sauce keep the heat high and keep turning so after a few minutes of the chicken becoming golden brown from the soy sauce you can add the lemon so you want to use a whole lemon sliced into fairly thick slices because it wants to cover all of the base of the pan and really get it in between every bit of chicken so it obviously can absorb all of that flavor and as usual keep on checking on the other thing that's cooking which is the rice keep stirring it and you'll notice it'll start to become a little bit drier a little bit fluffier because the water is now starting to evaporate quickly so keep on checking that as well so give the chicken and lemon you know three minutes or so to get used to each other cook for a little bit then you want to pour in the tiniest splash of cider vinegar this is optional then I would add about half a cup to a cup of water into the mix because the mix would start to become dry by now and you don't want to boil the chicken but you want it to just you know absorb those flavors so a splash of water half a cup or so isn't going to do any harm and as you can see followed by that you're just going to add a generous sprinkle of dry thyme or you can use a few sprigs that you can just pick off you know and spread evenly throughout the pan and then mix it in then just give these ingredients a minute or so just to simmer for a while and then it's time to add that sweet sweet honey now this is the most critical part of cooking this dish because you need to get the right balance of sweetness to bitterness you should feel it slightly more sweet than bitter there's nothing worse than having you know bitter thyme and lemon chicken so you want to add a generous amount of honey here i would say at least four tablespoons slightly heat if you like and stir it in mix it well and you know keep tasting the sauce like everything you make keep checking if it needs more seasoning if it needs a bit more lemon squeeze a bit more lemon a bit more honey a bit more honey so taste as well seasoning well with salt and pepper is really going to help to bring out the flavor as well so by this time i think your rice should be near enough done like i said through the whole process just keep on checking it stirring it round 
see how much water is left in the pan. I can tell by eyesight now uh, if my rice is cooked or not, but if you need to taste it, then you've got to do what you've got to do. And if it's still a bit undercooked, then add a bit more water, continue reducing it down until it's to your consistency and season with salt don't forget to season the rice as well and take off the heat to continue cooking the chicken so remember you want to keep that heat high because you're trying to get the sauce as sticky as possible so with the honey the water and the juices it should be starting to get as thick as it can for now to get really truly sticky Chinese style chicken you would need something like cornstarch type of flour and you know that wouldn't be ideal for a fitness healthy food video would it so you know I'm keeping this as sensible but enjoyable as possible now that looks very good if I do say so myself so as you can see you basically like deep frying the chicken and keep stirring the sauce every now and again as well and that's gonna help to make it as sticky as possible and basically you're just gonna keep doing this until you feel the chicken is fully cooked and when the chicken's cooked turn the heat right off immediately and you'll see it start to cool down and the chicken is going to rest nicely in all that sticky sauce and those nice flavors also unless you're in a mad rush just let the chicken rest for a few minutes don't plate it up immediately let the meat rest let it get more tender let it absorb more flavor and it's going to taste a lot nicer and it's also not going to burn your damn mouth and there you have it sticky honey lemon chicken with white rice thanks very much for watching today's video guys i do hope you enjoyed it and you learned how to make these dishes you know practice makes perfect at the end of the day you might not get it right first time but the main thing that i do want you to take away from this was how you can vary up healthy eating how you can make healthy eating enjoyable and you know today was chicken three dishes if you like this type of video leave it in the comments if you would like to see more of them i might do more of them in the future who knows Anyway, I am going to try and be as consistent as possible with these videos. Um, I'm gonna try and do, you know, I say try. I won't be able to do any more than two a week minimum. I am gonna do my best to do one video a week at least for now. So thank you for supporting me so far. If you haven't done already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Louis Hickson. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.